Stop right there. Don't you move. I'm not moving. Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. Episode 33? I forgot last time that I was stuck with this trainer here. Uh, let me relearn the controls. I haven't played in a while. Alright, we know what to do. Blast toys! Oh, we've seen Cubone. Why am I not fast forwarding? Hopefully in this episode, we will finish this freaking company. I'm tired of it. Marowak. Dude, Marowak is so cool. I'm so glad I leveled one up. It's like level 30 something. I wish you guys would have picked him. Actually, no, keep keep Drowsy out. Yeah, it seems like the clear winners ride on. Even though I probably harped on this way too much lately. Don't, please. I'm a pansy. Alright. So I think if you come down here and touch this. Ha. Huh, just kidding. There's nothing in these plants. Oh, there is. There's a revive. Haha. Ha. Bingo. But today we should finish the, um... Oh, my nose out of grown up matters. Uh oh, it's boss time. Alright, he's a little tough. Nidorino. <laughs> oh, dang, 37. Holy cow. Whatever, we know how to handle poison types. Oh, we see Nidorino too. And you're dead. Oh, dang it. I have double kick, won't do very much, but should do enough to kill him. Later, Nidorino. Kangaskhan. Let's see what Lee's at. 36? Yeah. Kangaskhan. We've seen him back in the rocket hangout. So no reason to focus energy up. Yeah, rage sucks. And you're... Oh, he's not dead after a high jump kick? He's only 35, though, so... Rhyhorn. This is what you guys have been waiting for. Ground rock type. I don't, I don't remember if we've seen Rhyhorn. I'll just go slow anyways. Because in this episode, I just want to get this place done, and then I want to, we'll explore Saffron a little bit, and if we have time, we'll go down Cycling Road. Double super effective! Alright. And he's going to use Nitto Queen. Well, we got to counter for that. Nitto King! Nitto Queen is the evolved form of Nid Arena. <coughs> Part ground type part poison type so dig should be good against him 41 i thought i was like leveled up i'm apparently not as leveled up as i thought still should be super effective yeah it is ooh tail whip i'm scared but yeah <clears throat> you want to counter with water moves or ground moves here for poison type or psychic too i guess or grass no, grass would be regular effective because it's not very good against poison types. Sweet critical! Later, Nidal Queen. The king has returned. And hit 37. He's neat like that. Arg! I lost again. Yeah, you suck. Yeah, you're gonna fall. You're not gonna return. But yeah, once you defeat him, all the rockets leave the company. Yep. Alright. I can give you anything. And he gives us the Master Ball, which is the best Pokeball ever. It catches anything no matter what. Right. Yeah. You want to save that for someone way later in the game. Alright, and with that, we can just get out of here. Should be fairly simple. I already talked to you, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Alright. You can just use an escape rope, but... It's not too bad to walk out of here. I'll just show you how to do it. To the first floor. Let's get out of here. It's gonna blow. <laughs> not really. Alright. And with that, the Silk Company is gone. And there's regular people outside now. Yay! Team Rocket's gone. So we're just gonna explore Saffron and see what it has to offer. Yeah, I did. Gary was a worthless piece of crap. Or red, whatever I call him. Oh, this is like... The, t the person in Vermilion was writing to this person. Oh, yeah, Polka Doll. Do we still have that thing? That's right. We need to do that, too. Well, we got five minutes, so we can, we can explore pretty much all this place. Chansey! She has a few friends. Likes to mimic people. Oh, she's the she's the copycat. Okay, 
So if we go up here, she gives a Pokeball. Oh, she can teach you Mimic. That move does, I'm pretty sure, the last move that you get hit by. But it's only a one-time use thing. So, I don't think I need it. But you can do that if you have a Poke Doll, which is cheap. Um, now that Team Rocket's gone, you can take on the gym. But... I, I don't have anything good against Psychic right now, so I think I'm going to hold off, actually, on fighting her. And go to the next town. <coughs> It's a Pidgeot. Brock's the last word of cool. Whatever. I don't think there's anything new in here. No, there isn't. Let me get out of here. Alright, so now the Pokemart is open. I don't think we've been in here. I could be wrong, though. I don't think they sell anything amazing. No, they don't. And Hyper Potion, which... We have enough of those. Revives. They sell full heals, which are good. I should get some of those. They're good. Oh, and they sell max repels. We should get some of those, too. They go for 250 steps, so that's good. Alright, a little more exploring to do. Um, do, 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 No, that's the Silk Road. We were, not the Silk Road, but the street that Silk Company's on. This house wasn't blocked before. I just forgot to come here. And you get TM29 from Mr. Psychic. And that's what it has. It's Psychic. It's a really strong psychic move, but I'm I would I would teach that to a psychic Pokemon. But if I'm gonna use a psychic Pokemon, I was gonna use Jinx, and I'm pretty sure she learns it. So that's basically all you can do here now that they're out of here. So we are got three minutes left. Okay, so I don't think I'm ready to fight Sabrina yet. So we're going to head down to Fuchsia City right here. So you can either go down Route 12 this way, or you can take Cycling Road that way. I'm going to do Cycling Road now because it's quicker for the most part. There's a lot of trainers on it, and I just want to train up. And I meant to fly there. What am I doing? I meant to fly to Celadon. Alright. <clears throat> so, yeah. I'm going to start out with... Lee in the front for a specific reason. You guys will see. I already went up there, showed you guys that. Alright, so now we got a Snorlax, so we need to wake him up. Wanna use the Poke Flute? Of course I wanna use the Poke Flute! I need Dragon Sword Power! Wow, the Snorlax appeared. Alright, focus energy. I'm gonna try to catch him. There is there is two of them. So if you miss the first one, catching the first one, there is another one on Route 12. But they're the only two in the game, so you gotta catch one of them. Hopefully Rolling Kick's not that strong. Whew, perfect. And he flinched, awesome. So, I don't think I have any Pokemon with status effects. Ooh, I have an Ultra Ball. We'll try that next. If this fails. I'm only going to catch one of them. Aw. Uh, I need to paralyze it or something. Alright, let's get... Let's get Bolton here to try to paralyze it. And not try. It'll work if I just get him with it. Thunder Wave. Paralyzed. Ouch. Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter if I'm asleep. Great ball, go! Yes! Snorlax was caught. Snorlax is a beast. He's one of the best normal types in the game. <clears throat> Tons of HP, he's got good defense. I might try to catch the other one. But, if you use the item finder here, where is it? And you can also do this on Route 12. You have to be right on the spot, I think. It goes nuts. There's an item buried, and it's leftovers. You give this to a Pokemon, and after each turn, it gains all HP back. So... <clears throat> With the Snorlax out of the way, we can finally explore the cycling road. Oh, it's one of his aids. 40 species. Yeah, we have that. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. 52. And we get the amulet coin. If you put this on your lead Pokemon, it doubles the amount trainers give you. 
you earn double the money, which is really nice, especially when you're using gamblers or fighting gamblers and stuff. But uh, yeah, he's here with his girlfriend. How nice. All right, I think I need to cut this video short for a second. I'm gonna fast forward down the steps. So on the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green, we're gonna take on the Cycling Road. So this is Glenio 2, and I'll see you guys next time.